Foo Fighters 92 has asked, everyone has fears. What are some of yours? I hate roller coasters and flying. It sounds like a like a question you'd ask on a dating show like number 2. Everyone has fears. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I I don't know. Fears, I guess other than like I don't like snakes, I don't like spiders, but I feel like that's kind of a general thing. I mean, I know people who like snakes like snips. It's creepy. They're scary and weird and wibbly wobbly. Spiders, they. And then you're like, I'm gonna smack you. And then you try to smack them, and they're just like, boy. They just get out of the way. Not cool, spider. Not cool. It's more about uh, failure. It's a big thing that everybody faces, right? So, um, whenever I have a project going, I usually have a, a plan B going alongside of it, just to make sure that. If this thing doesn't go well, whatever it may be, then I will have this to fall back on. Um, and I, I just think that was something that was taught during my my uh, my youth was that you just don't put all your eggs into one basket. You gotta always make sure that you got something behind you. But sometimes you end up splitting your time too much and find yourself in quite a pickle. So take that with a grain of salt, whatever that means. I never learned what that meant. It's it's tiny, it's not pepper. I don't get it. Devin, div zero and underscore sma from Twitter asks, nook and cranny game. <laughs> I assume that's me. What's your favorite t-shirt other than the one I'm wearing, which I like a lot. It's very strange to display this while it's still on my body. Probably should have thought that through before I did this. It's a giant, it's a giant monster thing. And there's people. There's people down here. There they are. Oh no! Look at the giant monster thing! Yeah! Oh no! Anyway, but I like the monster because he's he reminds me of Iron Giant and he's all like, Don't be afraid. I like humans. I just want friends. Other than the shirt I'm wearing, though, I like this shirt. That's a thing right there. So uh, that's that is the new Nook and Cranny logo on that shirt right there. And uh, just for kicks, there's the short logo you'll be seeing on a. Uh, smaller things like the icons and the probably the twitters and the you know maybe smaller merchandise maybe might be coming who knows who knows except for the man who is behind the nook actually nook probably knows more than the man that is behind the nook sad but true metallica reference love it fired up reference Go watch that movie, it's hilarious. Chumbawamba, soundtrack of my life. So this is the new logo, let's do a full screen. But that's the new logo, and it's amazing, and I love it, and it's it's incredible, and Snips has worked hard on creating art for that, and I also worked hard on uh, putting that together myself. So uh, it was a collaborative effort to create the new logo for Nook and Cranny Gaming, so I'm glad to unveil that uh, for you to know that unveiling this means that the shop might be opening soon. As soon as the store opens, new Patreon goals and rewards will also be arriving. And the reason that those are arriving at the same time is because the Patreon rewards are going to feed into the shop. So if you pledge a certain amount, you might get a shirt. If you pledge a certain amount, you might get a mug or you know what, oh, spoiler alert. That's for me to worry about and not you. Uh, what you need to worry about is just watching the videos and having a good time and hanging out on Twitch and just let's be friends, honestly. Honestly, sincerely, I love hanging out with you guys. I love reading your comments and I love that you guys keep submitting questions week after week for hats off. So, hello, welcome to Nook and Cranny Gaming. I am Nook and this is obviously hats off because you can see all that that's happening that I need to fix because I cut my own hair and he's fixing look at that look at that I look like a like a 50s greaser so unfortunately I hit on all the points that I wanted to hit on before I actually took my hat off 
So I suppose I could tell you something about me that's going well to make up for all the BS that you had to sit through while I wasn't in hats off mode. I think I'm falling. I guess not a whole lot's going on in my life. <laughs> uh, other than just nook and cranny, I've been trying to m make sure that I've got material recorded for you guys. The Long Dark will be record... Hey. The Long Dark will be returning very, very soon with an added twist. So uh, be looking forward to that. I'm very excited to get back on that. I'm working on the details of how all of that's going to work out. Uh, but I promise you that new episodes of Long Dark are coming. And there's, it's a reason there's been like a little hiatus. And the reason for that, hopefully you'll enjoy what's to come. So um, there's a new update for Long Dark. So that'll definitely be coming back. A bird story will be finishing up on Friday. Whether I get this posted tonight or tomorrow. Uh, but Friday is still a day of the week, and it will be after this video is posted. So, a bird story will be finishing up, and my nose is just, just the itchiest. Um, I need to wash my hands. And on Friday, I will also be recording all new series, uh, including Ori in the Blind Forest, Axiom Verge, and Titan Souls. Those are the three things that I'm absolutely focusing on i definitely want to play transistor as well though and um there was another one and not king knight's ca a castle in the knights there's another one that i want to play that reminds me of old like game boy 2d style games which i used to play a lot and i forgot that i had such a a connection to those until i saw this game Castle of Darkness, I think it's called. I'm not even going to pull up Steam. Money on Castle of Darkness. And when I say money, I obviously mean Monopoly kind. New series coming your way. In the meantime, I'm going to be closing the poll for the next horror game. <sighs> I hate to cut it off. I hate to cut it off because I want to leave it open and let people to simmer in it a little bit and try to figure out what they want to see played on the channel. Um, but I will be closing the poll for that as of Wednesday of next week, so a week from while I'm recording this. So Wednesday of next week, the poll will be closed for the next horror game on Nook and Cranny Gaming, and hopefully that following week is when the horror game will begin. Right now, Resident Evil HD Edition is in the lead. I have not played Resident Evil before, so I am totally gung-ho to play that, but it's going to be a very long series. Um, also, I want to let you know that if you are voting on the horror game, two games will be knocked from the list every time we do a poll. Everybody seems to like the horror game, so I think I'm going to keep the horror game poll going. And what's going to happen is the top horror game with the most votes is obviously going to be played, and the one with the least amount of votes is going to be knocked off the list. And if there's a tie for last, I'll flip a coin. Or we'll figure it out uh, on stream or something. Maybe you can come hang out on Twitch. I'll ask you what game you like least or which one doesn't interest you at all. And we'll figure it out from there. Either way, please comment below with uh, other horror games that you'd like to see if you do not see a game that you would like to see played. Did that make sense? Make sure, as always, to do all the socials. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Go over to the subreddit, post on there, and collaborate with the other people that are hanging out there. Um, Foo Fighters 92 asked, who asked a question at the beginning of this video, is the man who kind of moderates things over there. So go say hi to Foo. I know he'd love to see you over there. And please leave me a comment below and share this video with your friends to let them know what's coming up. All in all, thank you so much for joining me. There are exciting things coming. There's a new season of, not a new season, but a new, there's a new thing happening with the Long Dark Roleplay series. There are new series coming as uh, Ori in the Blind Forest, Axiom Verge, etc. There is also a new horror game that will be decided by next Wednesday. Go get your vote in. And also make sure to stick around for the new video unveiling the Nook and Cranny shop and the Nook and Cranny Patreon rewards and goal system. I know you guys have been waiting for a while on that and I'm, I apologize that it's taken so long, but I want to make sure that everything is just right for you guys to enjoy the content that's coming out and also be excited about what is available to you as supporters of Nook and Cranny Gaming. So, 
thank you so much for watching. I am Nook, and this is Nook and Cranny Gaming. This has been another Hats Off update video for the channel. Uh, please join me on Tuesdays and Thursdays over at Twitch, although it's been a lot more since Bloodborne came out because I'm really, really loving this game, and I've been playing it almost every single night. So please join me on Twitch, watch all the videos on YouTube, and leave me a comment or a like below to let me know what you think about all the things that are coming there. So please let me know what you think. I would love to hear your opinion, your thoughts on all the things. And uh, until next time, you know I don't have one of those things because I joke about it all the time because I accidentally say that all the time. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in the next video.